Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to see how you can create a petty cash float account to manage your petty cash transactions so if you want to join this full course or get the quickbook services you can contact on this number all right let's get started okay now we will discuss petty cash impressed account sometimes it happens that uh, companies assign some of the employees in different branches and they hand over a certain amount of cash so that they can meet day to day expenses day to day minor expenses for example you can issue uh, the cash or petty cash to storekeepers cashiers so that whenever they want to make an extra minor indirect expenses like some kind of maintenance work or some kind of small purchases of stationery so they don't need to spend that expenses out of their own pocket rather you have assigned a float for it which they need to maintain so for example uh, for one employee you have given a certain amount of 5000 other for other employee you have given 10000 and so on now what you need to practically do is if you assigned 5000 rupees to a certain employee you have to maintain that float for example they have spent nearly 2000 from that 5000 rupees so you will receive the invoices for that 2000 just reconcile that amount with uh, 2000 uh, make sure that you have all the invoices of what he spent in 2000 rupees and then you will reimburse that 2000 only so that the previous amount remaining was 3000 and you reimburse that 2000 as well so it maintains his float to 5000 back so the question is how we will manage such kind of impressed accounts in quickbooks because obviously we need to keep track of the overall petty cash that we have issued to all the employees and similarly for each specific individual we need to figure out how much they have spent and how much we need to reimburse according to the expense invoices given back to us so in order to maintain that i'll create a petty cash general account first and then i will assign it to each individual account as well so i'll go to chart of accounts and let's create a new petty cash account i'll go to account and go to new and since this is a sample file so we already have petty cash accounts so to keep it little different for our example i'll select bank nature now in the bank nature i can create a petty cash account savings account etc so it gives you a guidance of what can be created in the bank account so just continue with it and then i'll name it petty cash impressed and save and close now it will ask you a prompt that uh, do you want to set up a bank feed i'll click no now I'll create a new account again and select bank and then I'll create an individual employee petty cash impressed account and this is for Saad but this is treated as a sub account of the main category which was petty cash impressed account. Let me just change the name. This is petty cash save and close and if you want to edit the name of it just right click on it and go to edit account and change the name petty cash and save and close and now let's create another one go to new select bank and let's say i've created a new account but just suppose that this time i forgot to mention it as a sub account and i directly saved it so what will happen it will not fall under this main category we have to manually adjust that so in order to adjust that within this main account as a sub account you can see that little diamond sign just hold it and move it little forward so it will automatically come under the petty cash impress account that's how you can directly create a sub account of that main account uh, in the chart of accounts list now our two accounts has been created now let's see how to manage that expenses let's say i want to pass a general entry i'll go to company 
and make a journal journal entry. Now let's say we have issued petty cash to Farhan. So I'll keep the date to 1st April 2020 and just select petty cash impressed. Petty cash actually select from this list. Petty cash for Farhan. And let's say that we have given him 5000 rupees. Give any narration you want and then press tab and tab to come on the second line. And for example, we have issued this from a bank account that was our checking account and we withdrawn actually from this account via ATM and given it in hard cash form to Farhan. So now let's save it. Actually just save and new. Now let's see what adjustment it makes in the chart of accounts. I'll go to chart of accounts and you can notice that it transferred the amount from checking account to Farhan account. If you want to check the entry of it, you can just double click on this checking account. So under the bottom, you will see that entry. Actually, the dates are up to 2022. So we have to manually check it, go back to 2020. And you can see that entry here. There is another way of uh, quickly checking that transaction. Just double click on it and select go to. This is a special search feature. Now, which field I want to find the transaction in. I remember the memo. So I'll just mention memo and search for Farhan and click next. So it will directly move to this entry and you can check that. Now let's close it. Similarly, let's issue 10,000 rupees to Saad as well. I'll go to accountant and make journal entries. Let's say I am issuing this amount to Saad on 1st April 2020. And that is petty cash for Saad. And the amount is 10,000. And it is issued from checking account. Now save and close. Now, if we check back in our records, you can see that petty cash impressed total float is 15,000 out of which 5,000 is for Farhan and 10,000 is for Saad. Now just consider that these expenses are spent by Farhan, but it is actually a company impressed float, just like petty cash A, petty cash B. So what I'll do whenever I receive uh, expense details from that particular employee, I can just enter it simply. For example, on 15th April 2020, I received the details and let's say stationary. This account doesn't exist. So press tab setup and mark it as expense continue and save and close. Now let's say that Farhan spent 2000 rupees for stationery. And you can mention details if you want. And it is spent by Petty Cash from Saad. So save and close. So if we go up there, you can see that Saad was issued with 10,000 rupees out of which he spent 2000 rupees in stationery, so he has 8000 left. And similarly for Farhan, I'll do an entry. For example, there was a client of the company for which Farhan ordered a refreshment. So on 15th April, three thousand was spent against refreshment by Farhan. And it is spent against petty cash for Farhan. Now save and close. And now Farhan is left with 2000 rupees. Now you can notice here that we have the record for individual employees, what he is left with. And we have the total as well, what is left in petty cash overall impressed account. Now let's suppose that we want to reimburse him. Uh, that expenses in order to maintain his petty cash float. So what we will do is what we will receive the details for uh, this bill. And after the receiving of bill, we will reissue him uh, 3000 rupees as a petty cash to maintain his float back to 5000. So let's reissue 3000 rupees to Farhan. Go to accountant, make general entries. 
and on 15th April 2020 select Farhan and I want to reimburse him 3000 rupees and it is issued from again uh, checking account so mention 3000 here and let's save and close so you can see that it comes back to 5000 and if you want to check the details of all transactions just double click on that account so it will show you the details that first we have deposited in his account means we have physically given him 5000 rupees out of which he spent 3000 so we reimburse that amount back and the balance is now 5000 so this is really a very simple and convenient way of managing the petty cash and breast account now similarly if i want to extract the report for both of the ledgers at the same time what you can do is you can just right click on petty cash impressed account which is our main account just right click on that and go to quick report so as soon as i go to quick report it will show you separately for farhan and saad for example farhan was given 5000 so balance was 5000 he spent 3000 balance was 2000 and we reimbursed him back so he is back to 5000 similarly for saad we have given him 10,000 but for now he spent 2,000 and he has the balance of 8,000 we haven't reimbursed anything back to him and similarly if you want to check the individual report just right click on that and go to quick report so you can notice that report for a particular employee arrives now if you notice that whenever I extract the report I can see a combined column which is not separated in debit and credit form so if i want to separate it you can also customize that report so go to customization and under the columns field search for debit just check the debit and after that search credit and just check the credit as well now click ok so you can see that it comes uh, in the debit credit form now if i want to remove this from our report i can search for amount and just uncheck that click OK now similarly if I want to print this report I need to see that which columns are necessary for me to print for example name there is nothing in the name so I want to uh, just hide this column so what you will do is you will uh, hold this three dotted uh, lines which indicates the column area and you drag it towards the three dotted line so that it hides it and similarly memo needs some more space so you can just expand the space as much as you want and similarly uh, if you don't want to see the split you can just hide that and you can adjust every column size similarly if you want to move some columns you can also do that for example uh, my report format requires that date should come on the first place so just hold the date from the center when you see this hand sign and just move it back so as soon as you see this uh, little red arrow sign it shows you where you are placing this specific column so you can just drop it so anything you want to do you can just change the columns position so after that if you want to print this report go to print and you can save as it as pdf or you can print the report directly so let's see how it shows up in the print it will show it like this but here you can notice that it doesn't show credit and balance that's because the portrait orientation has a limited capacity so change it to landscape and now see so now it shows it properly after that you can just print it just remember to always check the preview before printing the actual document similarly if you want to fit the report on a single page then you need to make some settings just check that and go to preview again so it will automatically readjust it and save it similarly if I want to save my report as a PDF so I'll make all that adjustments in the same way and after that I can save it to desktop let's say my report and now let's let's go to to desktop and check it so this is how my report will save now there are some situations where you issued 
petty cash to many employees but you forgot what float we need to maintain for particular uh, employee for example we can see 8000 but we don't actually know that his float what we need to maintain is 15000 or 10000 so what you can do is just right click on this and go to edit account uh, i need permissions for that okay now i made the changes so either you can mention it in the account name for example farhan is the float of 5000 so i can mention 5000 but since account name has a limited capacity and it doesn't look proper when we extract the balance sheet or profit or loss report so what you can do is you can mention it in our description that float of 5000 and save and close and similarly for Saad, you will click on it and go to edit account and you can mention that float of 10,000. Now I adjusted that descriptions for uh, each chart of account, but I cannot see the description column on the front end. So I can customize the columns as well. Just right click on any column go to the top of the name and just right click on that and click customize columns now after the customization of column you will see that we have many options to choose from these are available columns and this is what we have chosen already so if you want to remove any of it for example we don't have the attachment uh, so just remove that uh, if we don't want the online field remove that and I'll add description so just select the description add it it will go in the last now if you want to move that up means it should show after name so just uh, select this and click move up move up so it comes after name and that's how I can easily adjust that so see how cool it is it shows it in the front end now so that's how you can deal with all the customization in QuickBooks and maintain the petty cash flow for all the employees so that's it i hope you liked the video and if you did hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos this is Saad signing off from today's video take care